Hi, welcome back to another episode of Embroidery Hub. On today's episode, we'll be covering the topic of proper maintenance on a TC series, which is one of, if not the most important topic when it comes to taking proper care of your embroidery machine. So when it comes to maintenance for your machine, there are a couple of items that you will need. First off is sewing machine oil. This is oil that you can pick up at any online retailer where they sell any general sewing machine items. Uh, but you have to make sure that it's specifically sewing machine oil. Any other oil will affect the machine and possibly even damage your garment. Then you also will need any type of lint brush. You actually get one provided in the toolbox that comes with the purchase of any embroidery machine with Recoma. And last but not least, you're also going to need white lithium grease. This you can pick up at any hardware store, whether it be the Home Depot, Lowe's, or any auto parts stores as well. So to start off, firstly, the most basic is going to be the brush itself. Basically, all you would really need this for is for cleaning the bobbin case area. Once you remove this cover and expose this area, you want to go ahead and take your brush and just go ahead and brush off any excessive thread that has been piling up there. You also want to go ahead and remove this needle plate cover, which will also expose the movable knife that is used to trim the thread. And so once we remove the cover, then you want to make sure that, as you can see, there's excessive thread in there, which you can also brush off. Now I'm using a brush here, um, which works just fine, but you can also take like a can of compressed air and just blow out all of the excessive air that's in there. All right, and so that takes care of that area with the lint brush. Then the next part is going to be the sewing machine oil. Now with the oil, this is the one that's gonna be very important for this area which is removing the bobbin case and then just applying two to three drops of sewing machine oil in here as well as on the movable knife as well. Now you want to do this for every four hours of continuous use. It's very important. This is the one that you're actually going to have to do the most often just because it's a very sensitive area. And then while we're here, you also have an opening right above here that will also take two to three drops of oil as well as another one that's on the same arm in the back. This is applying oil to the rod that pushes out that movable knife. And so in this area, every four hours of continuous use for the whole rod itself, that could be less often like on a weekly basis. Then you have the needles themselves, or the needle bars, I should say. You have your four or five openings, I should say here, where you wanna apply two to three drops. And again, this is gonna be on a weekly basis. And these openings, each of them actually spread out the oil evenly to the three needles that are around it. So that takes care of the oil. The final part of maintenance, which is also very important, would be the lithium grease. Now, for the lithium grease, there's a few areas. First off, the bar, which the head actually glides on from left to right. So to access that part, you may actually have to change needles just to expose the area. So if I move to needle one, it'll actually move my head all the way to the left, and I wanna go ahead and apply liberally lithium grease here in this area. When it comes to grease, it actually tends to last much longer than the oil itself. That's why grease, you're actually going to apply it, I would say, about every three months or so. Um, so not as often. And then once I'm done here on this side, then I want to go ahead and just move it to needle 15. So I move the head over all the way to the right and I expose that same rod on the left side. Again, same concept. Once I'm done with those parts, the only other part that's left that would take the lithium grease would be the color change unit. So normally there's a case here that you can just remove with two Phillips screws. Once you've removed it, then that's going to expose this cam here, which again, you wanna apply 
grease onto this cam itself every three months or so. And then the other only final part would be these bearings here. So these bearings are the ones that engage with this cam as well. Essentially applying grease to this cam will be effectively being utilized with these bearings as well, but it won't hurt if you apply them onto these bearing wheels. Here it's on needle 15, so I'm exposed to all of these on the right. And then just like the rod before, if I move it to needle one, then it'll scoot it over. And now I can access the bearings on the right side to make sure I get it nice and even on all the bearings. All right, so there you have it. Proper maintenance on your TC series machine. Always remember to follow all of these steps that I just mentioned to ensure the continuous proper use of your machine. I wanna thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe to our channel. Feel free to comment if you have any questions regarding this video. I also want to invite you to join our Facebook group, Embroidery and Custom Apparel Mastery, where you can join other embroiderers and apparel decorators such as yourself. In it, you could ask questions and share tips and knowledge among one another. And for any additional information about our products or services, you can visit www.recoma.us. You'll find all these links I mentioned in the description below. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you back here next time.